Mr. Papini was my Italian teacher for my last two years of high school. He was probably my favorite teacher of all time besides my photography teachers. We used to call him just Pep. My favorite thing was to hear him give one of his famous Pep Talks. We named it that and it just stuck. He taught me so much about my own culture and my life. I could go to him with any problem and he was probably there for me more than I realized. He made me a better person. I was like family to him and he was like my third grandfather. Because of him, I feel I was able to handle school so much better and things at home and with my friends were also better. I'll never be able to repay him for all he did for me. When I first decided I was going to pursue my interest in photography, I took a photo class at my high school. I had Miss Miller as my first ever photo and I learned so much from her about art and about how to compose and look for brilliant photographs. She was a fun, bubbly person with a spectacular way of teaching that I will never forget for the rest of my life. Although I never had another photo class with her after that, I took a video class just so I could have her as a teacher again. It was in this class that I met my boyfriend for the second time. It was partially because of her that we met, and that just adds to the reasons why she was my favorite teacher in high school. Jamie was a junior when I graduated. I was never very nice to her because she was always annoying me, it seemed. After I graduated, I never spoke to her again. In March of 2010, she passed away from liver disease. She was 18. She never got to graduate. She never told anyone she was sick or explained the reason she was heavy was because of her illness. People made fun of her constantly. After I heard of her passing and why it had happened, I felt the worst guilt I have ever known. It kept me awake at night. I wish I would have known, and from then on I promised myself I would never brush someone off or be mean to them because of their personality ever again. Rosie was my best friend since the second grade when we first met. We were inseparable in elementary school despite not being in the same classes most of the time. She could never hang out on weekends either because of her family. They always did things together, and when we got into high school, she always had to be home to get her little siblings off the bus after school. She had a lot of fun with her family, and did a good job taking care of her brother and sister. My family was never close like that, but seeing her step up and help her parents as much as she did made me wish I could do the same. Christian and I met in middle school. We became close quickly because we lived so close together. We walked home together a lot in high school, and we talked about everything. He told me the story of his mother's first child, who would have been his older sister. She was stillborn. Just knowing that, he was affected by it and always talked about how he wished he could have known her, and on her birthdays he would get upset, and I would try to cheer him up. Seeing how much this affected him really made me aware of how important family was to him. I tried to understand it, but my family was never like that. But his love for his sister really touched me. How he could feel so strongly for a person who he'd never met just because he felt connected on a deeper level. Rita graduated with me in 2009. She was an amazing person with a view on life I only wish I could have had. When she was smaller, she had a friend who had come out as gay to her and some of her other friends. She accepted him and they were very close. One day, Rita was in class when they announced over the loudspeaker that her friend had been killed. It was not an accident. Someone had beat him up and killed him just for being dead. Hearing her tell this story truly touched me, and I was finally able to understand her attitude toward intolerance and violence. She helped me to realize that the feelings I had been hiding, being bisexual, was something to be celebrated and not hidden, and that anyone who couldn't accept me didn't need to be my friend. Alana has been my best friend since middle school. I met her when I was still in my awkward stage and didn't fit in anywhere. She opened up my mind to the world of being a punk or goth or whatever you want to call it. Her brother was born with autism and because I knew her, she really was able to show me a whole different side of people with disabilities. Before knowing them, I never understood people with mental disabilities and they scared me. But it was through Alana and her brother that I was able to get to know one of the most important things I've ever learned. 
Some of the sweetest, smartest, and most inspiring people are those who are not considered normal by societal standards.